This video is a part of a multi-part series and I recommend that you watch the previous editions which will be linked in the description below before you watch this edition. On the planet of Dagobah, Leia has found the Jedi Master known as Yoda after Obi-Wan Kenobi led her there shortly after his death on Tatooine. Unknown to her, Kenobi had achieved the level of connection to the Force that no Jedi had reached before. He had become one with the Force and now can manifest himself before her. Now Kenobi and Yoda look to begin Leia's Jedi training in response to Vader finding his son, Luke Skywalker, and training him in the dark side of the Force. A month had went by while Leia was continuing her Jedi training, the Rebellion suffered heavy losses, losing the base on Hoth, which resulted in the death of General Harrison Dula. The Rebellion even believed that Leia was dead and was left scrambling in what seemed to be a dwindling effort. All this happened while Luke sat in isolation. For a month, he sat in a chamber all to himself. He received no food or water, using the dark side of the force to keep him alive. While he sat, the doors that were located above him began to open. The floor began to rise and there before him was Darth Vader. Vader was impressed to see how long his son had lasted. An entire month in isolation. Impressive. This makes up for your recent failures during your training. Luke almost couldn't bring himself to look in his father's face, but thanked him for what appeared to be a compliment. Vader then motioned for Luke to follow him, and brought him to a room that had many images scattered across the screens. Luke asked what it was that Vader was showing him. Vader walked towards the panel in the center room and pressed a button that activated a holographic image of what appeared to be a second Death Star. During your time in isolation, Governor Tarkin approached the Emperor about the construction of a second Death Star. One that approves upon the weaknesses of the first, but withholds the fear that is already instilled. Luke asked why he was being showed this information. This station will take at least a year to be completed, and the Emperor has made it clear that he will be there once it is. Your training must be complete before then. As Vader deactivated the hologram, Luke assured his father that he would be prepared in a year's time. Vader turned back to his son. I wouldn't expect anything else of you to be prepared. But you need a real test. One that will help me see where you stand now. Vader stood silent as it appeared he was thinking. Then in an instant, Vader activated his saber and swung at his son. Luke narrowly avoided being hit and activated his saber. The two stared at each other, trading strikes ever so often. Luke stared up at his father, who didn't say a word since activating his saber. It was then occurring to Luke that this was his test. He had to defeat, or at the very least survive, the might of Vader. Luke seemed to be overwhelmed, but continued to hold up against his father. The encounter between the two led to another room. Once there, silence began to build between the two. Vader then angled his saber down and began to use the power of the dark side against his son. He removed the objects off the wall and flung them towards Luke who tried desperately to counter, but was unable to. He was weakened and brought to the ground. Vader aimed his saber at the head of a down Luke Skywalker. I can sense your hatred, son. Use it. It is the only way to defeat me. Luke quickly responded back, leading him to attack Vader with a quick flurry that ended with a successful blow to his shoulder. Vader stepped back and the two were once again locked in a quick fury which ended with Vader cutting the hand of Skywalker off. Vader deactivated his saber and walked closer towards his son. You have failed, Skywalker. It seems as though I underestimated your skill. Luke, who was suffering from the pain of losing his hand, looked almost in rage as he kneeled before his father and master. I'm sorry, my master. Vader said nothing as he walked away from his son and signaled for a medical joy to tend to him. Meanwhile, Leia's Jedi training was moving along at a steady pace. Yoda and Obi-Wan trained a young woman as they would any Padawan during the days of the Old Republic. She learned of how the Force should use her and she should not use it. She learned of how Jedi should be focused on the present and not the future, for that is the path to the dark side. She endured countless hours of training before Obi-Wan informed her that it was time for a true test. Leia, your training has so far gone as planned. But you must now face your first true test. Before you is a cave that is strong in the force. You will enter and face whatever you see. You will stand strong and know that the force will be with you. 
always. Leia stared at the entrance of the cave, took a deep breath, and entered. Inside, she felt almost cold. Mist covered the ground, and in the distance, she heard a faint breathing. She decided to investigate the breathing, and made her way closer to it. She stood to see a man standing in the middle of almost nothing, with the breathing revealed to be that of Vader's. She stood confused, as Vader wasn't the person she saw. She approached the man, and he turned around to her. It was Luke who she saw, but Leia didn't know that was him. Luke walked towards Leia, and she followed suit. Suddenly, Luke activated his lightsaber and attempted to kill Leia. She quickly dropped to the ground as Luke stood over her, ready to land a crippling blow. Leia reached for a blaster at her side and fired a shot towards the heart of Luke, who fell slowly to the ground in front of Leia. She rushed to check on him and saw his yellow eyes slowly turn back to normal. She then heard Vader's voice speak to her. Very good, my new apprentice. Leia screamed no as she ran out of the cave. Yoda and Obi-Wan watched as Leia emerged from the cave and fell to her knees at the entrance. She turned to the Jedi Masters. Was that him? Was that my brother? Obi-Wan asked Leia. Do you feel as though it was him? Leia nodded and Kenobi confirmed her belief. You saw that because you're still worrying about the future, about the rebellion. If you do not focus on the now, if you do not keep your mind on your training, your fate will be the same as your brother's. Leia exclaimed that she can't help it. She said that she had left everything behind on the one belief that she could become a Jedi. Obi-Wan reassured her that this was the only way to free the galaxy, but Leia still had her doubts. Trust not what I say, Leia. But the Force it will guide us to balance once more. This was part 6 of the What If Luke Joined the Imperial Academy series, and I'm glad that those who have watched it have enjoyed it so far. If you haven't seen the previous editions to the series, they'll be linked in the description below, and be sure to leave a like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Also, stay tuned because part 7 for the series will be uploaded soon. Until the next time, may the Force of others be with you.